Greetings, survivors and friends. I'm Shadow Franks, and welcome back to another episode of Concept Limbo. It's the turn of the long awaited episode number 18, and if you haven't got a clue what's going on here, then don't worry, neither do I most of the time. But to explain, Concept Limbo is a long running series of mine focused on Rust, where I look at concepts and ideas for the game that are either sitting around unused or have long since disappeared up their own rabbit holes. In the previous episode, I considered some concepts from the community, such as drawbridges and CCTV cameras and I'd like to continue where I left off now with some more ideas from you chaps rather than from inside Facepunch themselves. I'll also say, although it should be obvious that being as they are from the freaky, freaky minds of the players, none of these concepts are endorsed by Facepunch, but if they were to use them, then I wouldn't complain. Hint hint, nudge nudge. So first up, some would say that in the wrong hands, or mouths, a can of beans is a deadly weapon. But rinse one out, stuff it with gunpowder, and you can do a little bit more damage to a door than just farting on it, maybe. But the weaponization of bean containers is a fascinating topic, and there are a few suggestions out there to harness their power in more devastating ways. For instance, and I'll probably get demonetized for this, but how about a bean can suicide vest? Suggested by Redditor Jet Slizer, and with some amazing artwork to back it up, this would be a default blueprint created from a vest and six bean can grenades, funnily enough, and a novel mechanic would see the explosion radius grow with how loudly you screamed into your mic. Finally, a use for all the 12 year olds in your zerk. Be warned though, like all bean can related creations, it might be a dud, so you could just end up standing there looking stupid after having screamed something controversial at your enemies. Of course, the idea of cooking a bean can and taking others down with you isn't a new suggestion, but obviously it's not everyone's cup of char, and a lot of us would rather be able to remotely barbecue our foes. Fortunately, Jet Slizer came through for us again by suggesting a completely realistic new type of arrow. This time, not a default blueprint, because obviously it's way too complex for that. Usable with bows or crossbows, exploding on contact, and once again, with the possibility of being a dud. It was pointed out by quite a few people who took it as seriously as it was clearly intended, that because it had the aerodynamics of a dead yak, it probably wouldn't fly and would work better if the bean can was attached to a spear. Something which, funnily enough, another user by the name of Hawkeye Bit had already made some low poly models for just a couple of months earlier. However, the idea of explosive spears in Rust goes back even further and actually features in a short Rust film from 2016 by Clone64 Productions, where at about six and a half minutes in, a character is seen using that very thing. Successfully, I presume. But what if you'd like to hurl multiple bean cans at your enemies without having to craft a load of special projectiles first, or having to move your arms and legs around? Well, then this piece of kit is for you. This is the bean can launcher, suggested last year on the subreddit by Tangu, and being able to fire up to eight preloaded cylinders of death in quick succession. Handy for lobbing a volley of destruction over a compound wall or through an open doorway, and with the amount of potential duds it might just be worth letting rip with all eight, as long as they don't get thrown back at you that is. It would be great if the cans it fired could stick to surfaces too maybe, although as someone pointed out, with their general unpredictability the whole thing could just jam and end up exploding on you. But perhaps it could even be used to fire other things, like food, or t-shirts, or what about nets? Yes, because as we all know, there's nothing quite as effective at incapacitating your prey as a tiny net. This concept from Marlboro on the subreddit last year suggested a new kind of ammo for the rocket launcher this time, which would require rope, a spring, and 100 metal frags to craft, and could potentially capture several players at a time if they were huddled together for some reason. When a player is hit by the net, he'd be stuck on the ground for 15 seconds, which is long enough to either loot or kill him. Or both. Then let's face it, it would be both. On the subject of projectiles, a couple of alternative raiding methods were suggested by Zanan over on the subreddit in early 2017, and these were even featured on a community update at the time. First of all, a cheap hand cannon, sort of a poor man's rocket launcher, which could easily be built from metal frags and wood, and fire either stone or metal ammo. Or if you were feeling particularly flamboyant and had the time to set it up, then how about going full medieval with a trebuchet? While not exactly being subtle, it would be fairly cheap to build and could be picked up and repositioned, but would need to be placed at the correct angle and distance to work. 
Not sure I could be bothered myself, but hey-ho, both of these ideas were to give a short farm, long raid alternative to the current meta, although when raiding you generally want to get in and out of a base as quick as possible. On the subject of bases now, what's the one thing that you'd like to see on your building pie menu more than anything else? That's right, actual pies. No, but really, I've seen and heard a lot of requests for triangle ceiling frames, and more specifically, triangle ladder hatches on the subreddit over the months, and no wonder who doesn't like to be efficient with the old space these days. As I say, there have been many requests in writing on the subreddit, but it was in February of this year that a member of my Discord, Ovion, decided to get visual with the idea and produced these mock-ups for how something like this could work. He opted for a submarine-type hatch with a retractable rope ladder, and although it may need an adjustment here or there, the whole thing is remarkably compact and bijou. The style suits Rust's recent nautical direction, and the community gave it a big, hard thumb thumbs up, with it shooting straight to the top of the subreddit and staying there for nearly 24 hours. This wasn't the only use for triangle ceiling frames that he thought of though, and in the interests of base defence, he also cobbled together one of these, a stealthy ceiling turret packing a twin nail gun array and presumably completely swivelable. There's a tongue twister for you. Now I know I'm giving him a lot of airtime here, but there was one more idea that he showed me and that, although seemingly complex, I just couldn't resist putting here as it's just such an Indiana Jones style solution to the problem of unwanted guests. This is an arrow wall trap designed to be a half height section with 18 gas powered barrels triggered by a pressure plate on a foundation and needing access to the rear in order to restock. It does of course presume the existence of pressure plates, but those would be a small price to pay for the opportunity to turn someone into a human hedgehog, if you ask me. Lastly, and talking of pressure plates, something which hopefully we'll be allowed to have when electricity arrives, there was this idea from Reddit user I'm a roast ya back in 2016. It's a simple wall frame with a mechanical sliding window that could either be operated by one of the aforementioned plates or manually from the inside and could reveal a turret, yourself, or whatever you want really. Sneaky. So, what do you think of these community concepts? Leave me a comment down below and tell me which, if any, you think would actually work in Rust. I've got a few more like this in the back of the van, so watch out for another episode at some point soon. Likes and subscriptions are appreciated. Ringing my bell is also a rather nice gesture, but I'll leave that to you. I can also be found on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and my Steam group, and I shall catch you all soon. But in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio.